Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Wickedly Crypto. Today, I'm going to show you how to install EOS Wallet. So this is the wallet by Meetup One. So right now, when you create a EOS account, you have to pay around twenty bucks, depending on the price of RAM. So it's not free, but Meetup One is going to give away one free account. Uh, so it will be free. So um, you can go back to my previous video and how you can get that free EOS account. Also, you can check out my Twitter as well. So let's get into it. So if you already have um, EOS wallet, you can just go ahead and import EOS wallet. And but this will require your private key and then you set the password. So right now, I'm not going to uh, import my uh, EOS wallet. I got a free account from Meetup One. So I'll go ahead and add a EOS wallet. So, so I will put an account name. The account name is um, 12 character long, or you can put in numbers, uh, one to five, and then you set a password. And then also, this is an invitation code I get from Meetup One, so I don't have to pay anything for create this account. So I will go ahead and put in all this information. So after I put in my account name, my password, and the invitation code, it will get to this screen. So I will go ahead and click I know. So here basically it's saying that do not take any screenshot for your private key. And also uh, you have to copy your private key and store it in a safe place. I mean, you shouldn't. Uh, screenshot your private key and send it over the internet. This is so unsafe. You shouldn't do that. Just write down your private key. So I'll click, uh, go ahead and put unknown, uh, I know. So right now, the next step, they will show you the private key and public key as well. So make sure you uh, copy the private key in, in a safe place. And I will go ahead and push done for the next step. So once I push done, uh, they will give you a warning as well. It's a double confirmation. So Meetup One will not upload your EOS wallet private key. Once it is gone, it will be gone forever. So make sure you save it uh, in a very safe place and make sure it's offline. So I will go ahead and um, proceed. So right now I go ahead and proceed and get to this page. So my username is Wicked Crypto uh, because it's 12 character long so I can only uh, put wicked crypto and I cannot put weekly crypto it will be it will be cut off and also uh, the total asset right now uh, mid dot one already purchased 0 0.02 eos in this wallet because you need the um, eos 0 0.01 in cpu and 0 0.01 eos in the net in order to do any transaction also the ram in the wallet has 3.97 kilobyte so this is what mid dot one already purchased for uh, for the uh, for the account already. <clears throat> so um, make sure you copy down your private key earlier and all that thing. And uh, we talk about that. Do not take screenshot and send it over the internet. And Meetup One has no access to your private key. So make sure you back up your private key. And the thing is, um, you can do another options, but it is up to you. Uh, if you lose your key, uh, don't blame on me. Okay, I take the uh, picture of the private key uh, in my another iPod and that iPod do not go online. It's offline all the time. It's just uh, it's just for uh, for you know, taking picture for those, those stuff. And also, <clears throat> also uh, you can uh, go back to me and then export the private key as well. But make sure you back up your private key before you uninstall your applications or log out. Uh, before you log out, make sure you back up your private key. Because once it is gone, it is gone, okay? You can go to me and go to wallet and export your private key as well. So uh, let's get into it. So in order to back up the wallet, you can go to me, uh, manage wallet. So you click this wallet. So you can export your private key, or you can uh, delete the wallet, or you can change the password. Also, uh, you can 
import the Ethereum wallet and also import the EOS wallet from here as well. So for the airdrop, you can click a transaction record. So right now I don't have any airdrop because I just created a new wallet. So you can see the airdrop uh, in this column. So we can go back and so to buy uh, to buy RAM, you can go back to asset and then you can go scroll down and then you click RAM. So this is how you buy RAM. So um, RAM is uh, important in the eco uh, in the EOS ecosystem and this is also for depth development as, as well as for storage. So user, users should be aware that they need 0.1 to 0.2 EOS need to be staked to the in order in the wallet in order to exchange for resources such as CPU before they carry on any RAM transactions. And also they have to be aware that uh, 2.97 kilobyte of RAM is used for registering uh, registering uh, account and cannot be sold. So right now I'm going to show you how to fold for uh, the block producer. So you go to asset, right? And then you go to, you have to stake your token. Um, in order to fold uh, your, your block producer, the EOS block producer, you have to stake your EOS token for resources uh, because it will uh, consume the CPU and also uh, net as well. So you have to stake your resources to fold. So after you stake your EOS token, you can fold, uh, fold up to 30 block producer. But once you stake your token, your EOS token will be locked for, uh, will be locked for three days. So right now, currently, I can tell it's staked. The token is staked right now. So uh, depending on how many EOS you have, for example, you have 20 or 100 EOS or 1,000 EOS or whatever. So you can stake your token there. And... In order to fold, you have to stake the token. So right now, this wallet is already staked. Uh, the EOS already staked. And you can notice that uh, you have to have uh, 0 0.01 uh, CPU and 0 0.01 for the network, right? So when you transfer your token, uh, you have to stake um, your token because this is in exchange for the CPU power. So make sure you have 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 for network and CPU resources. Otherwise, you won't be able to do uh, any transactions or buy RAM or register any account. So you have to uh, stick it all the time. If you don't want to do, I mean, if you don't do any transaction, if you don't fold or if you don't uh, register any account, you can unstick your token. I mean, it doesn't matter. But if you unstick your token, uh, those transactions, uh, for example, you want to transfer the token uh, from your wallet to the exchange, or you want to fold, uh, or you want to buy RAM, you won't be you won't be able to do it. So I now I'm not going to unstake. I will just go back uh, the original screen. So so mid dot one uh, have already transferred like eight thousand five hundred EOS uh, token that eight thousand not token eight thousand five hundred EOS. Uh, that they earn as by, from buying RAM for the uh, for the EOS user to create account um, because it is it is nice that they do that because otherwise you have to pay uh, every, like twenty bucks for each account that you create and by the way you can have multiple accounts uh, point to one public address so also uh, Mid Dot One as one of the block producer. They are going to share a portion of the earnings to help user to create a EOS account. And um, I think this is good to the community because, um, because it will increase the mainstream adoptions. And also, uh, after you stake your account, you can fold the block producer, right? So here you can fold up to 30 uh, block producer. They uh, give a selection here. And so... I think this is good for mainstream adoption as well. If uh, more people create account in EOS and more people will fold because some people, they don't want to pay extra money just to create an account. I mean, for example, in my Ether wallet, you don't have to pay um, 
you know, the extra money for the account. Also, Neo Wallet, you don't have to pay extra just to create an account. Or Cardano Wallet, or Digibuy, or Art, or you know, Navcoin. There's a whole bunch of wallet. Don't. It's not necessary to to pay to create an account. <clears throat> so uh, I think this is good. So. Also, uh, with more mainstream adoption, this will subsequently increase the network effect of EOS. So this will just make the EOS blockchain more valuable at the end. So if you find this uh, video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Also, you can follow me in Twitter as well. I, uh, I follow a lot of projects that has potential. But it's difficult to talk about every single project in my YouTube channel. You can check it out. So also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out any uh, upcoming airdrop, half out giveaway or ICO. So I talk about uh, those giveaway in my previous video. You can check out my previous re uh, video as well. So uh, remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Please use your due diligence to invest your money. Investing in ICO has inherent, inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.